Hi guys, it's Tracy here, the Chocolate Stew. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, looking a little different, right? <laughs> no makeup, glasses on, t-shirt, relax, no uniform on. The other day I posted a video of our cruise. It was the Carnival Horizon. It was a lot of fun. And today, I'm in Belize. At the condo in Belize and Y'all, I've done nothing. I have been, and not just me, my husband too. We've been so lazy. You guys, when you're flying all the time as a flight attendant, and you're always on the go, city to city, hotel to hotel, it's just nonstop. At least it feels like that. You're on the plane, you're running up and down the aisles, you're serving, you're smiling, you're, you know. So when you have time off, <laughs> at least with me, I am totally lazy. And I'm gonna show you guys how lazy I've been. I mean, we've been in the bed for like, I think this is day number two or three. We've gone out a couple times just to eat. We come back right in bed. It's crazy. I've been uploading on Instagram. You should be proud of me, you guys. Been trying to keep that up now. I'm gonna show you how lazy I've been. Usually I am a very, um, at least I try to be. I like to be organized. I don't like a mess. Oh gosh, I don't like a mess. I like clean spaces, clean everything. I'm just, yeah, I'm one of those. I haven't been here. So I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys. Things that I was just thinking about the other day. Actually, there are about seven things that you guys probably didn't know about a flight attendant. Let me show you this messy, <laughs> messy kitchen. It is a mess. That, this is all garbage. <laughs> like seriously, all garbage. This is just like the, the stuff that I um, went to the market for today. And this, I know, it's a mess. This, I had rinsed some lettuce off, had a salad. Yeah, this corn I bought, I don't know. Mm, I do not like it. It's terrible. I hate to throw it away, but it's 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 like hard as a rock. Can't eat that. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Some pineapples that I I didn't even finish this. And this junk over here. And of course back over here on the countertop. It's just yeah, I know. A mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. After I clean this kitchen, then we'll sit down and I'm gonna let you guys know a few things that you didn't know about a flight attendant. Anyway, I decided to take a quick shower and get changed and everything. You know, put the makeup on, put the war paint on. So, I wanted to tell you guys about a few things that maybe you didn't know about a flight attendant that may be strange to you, but it's not strange to us. Let me start from the top. Something that, hmm, maybe you didn't know. Number one, we eat over a trash can. Like, literally. Not all the time, but when we have short flights or we have a day that it's just so crazy and there's not enough time to really eat the way we wanna eat, like sit down like normal people do, we're rushing. That means in between flights, maybe we have a one and a half hour flight and then 
we hit the ground and then we offload and then load more people and then in between that we have time to eat real quick so we're eating over the trash can everything goes in there and boarding up again I mean it's that quick yeah some of us have to eat over the trash can number two most flight attendants know where all of the great restaurants are. If you're going into a city you're not familiar with, just ask one of the flight attendants. They'll tell you, they'll tell you. Here's something that is probably contrary to popular belief. A lot of people look at flight attendants as we're outgoing, uh, we, we're always around people, we wanna be around people. Not. <laughs> well, let me explain. When we're done working, and we're on our way home. We love it being quiet. If we have to drive home, as soon as we hit that car, it's just quiet. When you walk in the house and your family's all there, we don't want to hear them. <laughs> we want just quiet. We like to sit in our room or wherever that quiet space is in our homes or wherever we're going to once we're done working. We don't like conversation. I'm just being honest. Do not like conversation. You got to give us about a day or two until we're ready to get back into the swing of things. I never knew that until I became a flight attendant. I'll go out on my trips. I come back home. And, but I won't hear nothing. <laughs> a lot of times people ask us where we stay when we're going into a city. For example, if we're going into, let's say, Denver. Hey, where do you guys stay? What hotels do you all stay in? We do not like to give that information out. And it's one, because of our safety. And number two, for security reasons, we don't give that information out. We don't like to. Every now and then we'll slip up and people may find out what hotels we're in. But, and if we do give a hotel, you didn't hear this from me. We don't usually give you the right hotel. At least, not the one we're staying in that night. <laughs> Number five. I know as a flight attendant, people love to bring us goodies. They love to bring us candy and cookies and, oh, we appreciate that. Oh, we love it. Love it. The candies and the chocolate. Oh, we love it. However, Every now and then, someone will give us candy or cookies or some type of treats over the holidays that are not wrapped. They've made the goodies at home, in their kitchen, they're not store-bought, which that's, that's a wonderful gesture and we love that. But let me be honest, can I? Let me just be honest. We accept the gifts graciously, but if it's candy or cookies that are unwrapped hmm they usually go in the trash you guys i'm just being honest and be it's, it's almost like halloween okay so you're going trick-or-treating or you let your kids go trick-or-treating and they get home you gotta go through all the candy and all the unwrapped candy goes in the garbage why and you hate to think of it this way but let's be honest everybody's not good out there so you can't trust everyone you just never know. So if you do decide to give a flight attendant a little something something, just make sure it's wrapped. Yeah, the original container. <laughs> number six. I think this is number six. I lost count. Anyway, the next one. We hoard condiments. Let me say that again. We are hoarders of condiments. So when we go get something to eat somewhere, let's say in an airport, and they have all the condiments that are set up, the ketchup, the mustard, the mayonnaise, the sugar, the forks, the spoons, the knives, you know, you know what I'm saying. All of that is so pretty lined up on the side. And honey, we grab a bunch. Yes, if you look in our food bags, we have a lot of that stuff. We may even have hot sauce. Mm -hmm. We love napkins and straws and the more, the better. Oh, and that goes for creamers for the coffee too. And you guys, I don't know what number I'm on, but the next one, we don't make plans. Now let me explain about not making plans. So usually when we fly into a city on an overnight layover, as some of you may know that term better than an overnight, we get into a city 
And maybe let's say we're going to a city where we're from. Let's say we're from Idaho, okay? You get to Idaho, you don't let family know that you are there. We usually don't, not all the time. Reason being is because we never know how we're going to feel when we get into that city. If we've had a day where it's been crazy, when we get into that city, we're exhausted. Exhausted. Where it's hard to get in at seven o'clock at night you have a show, a lobby, a van time of five o'clock in the morning, but your family wants to see you and have dinner. So you gotta get into your hotel. You're exhausted now, remember you're exhausted. Take off all the stuff, put some clothes back on, go out to eat. You may not be able to have a drink because we need time in between where no alcohol is present in our bodies. Mm -hmm. So water or Coke it is for us. So by the time you do that and you mingle with your family and you go back, it's probably 10 o'clock at night. Well, fan time, lobby time, five o'clock in the morning. What time do you think you gotta get up? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we don't make plans. That's one of the reasons why we don't make plans because we never know how we'll feel. And the other reason is it's kind of like a, a wives tale amongst flight attendants. You don't make plans let me give another example. Let's say we're flying into LA. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get to LA, I'm going to Manhattan Beach, we're gonna have fun, oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Well, oh, and on top of that, you've already told your friends, oh y'all, I'll be there, we're gonna go out, I'll be there at seven o'clock. Well, it was an awful day. Flight's delayed, Everything is going crazy. You don't get in until 10. So in the flight attendant world, we usually say don't make plans because you jinx us. If somebody makes the plan, that means oh, something's gonna happen. We're not gonna get there on time. We're gonna be de delayed. Do not make plans. Just an old wives tale, sorta, amongst flight attendants. We love magazines. We're looking for magazines in those seat back pockets. Oh yeah. It's the trashy ones, you know, the ones talking about all the celebrities, those, uh, the garden magazines, whatever you're into, we're looking for those magazines. That's it. That's what I wanted to share with you all. I just thought it would be some fun information uh, to share with you guys because you never knew that about a flight attendant and I didn't either until I became a flight attendant. If you like this video, give me a huge thumbs up and if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and that'll let you know when I upload a video. And for those of you that are new to my channel, thank you. I hope you're enjoying the content. If you have any questions about the flight attendant life or travel or even food, mm -hmm, just leave a comment below. We love to discuss all that food, travel, you know, all that. So I'm speaking of food, I'm getting ready to go to dinner. You guys, I'm still in Belize. We leave in about two days to go back home to Orlando and I'm going somewhere else. I'm not going back to work yet.